Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is season two, episode 18 of Chris Cast. My name is Chris Abraham. And this episode should be short, but I say that a lot. Um, it basically is about how I'm going to lose weight. And it's really simple, and it's wasteful, and it's stupid, and yet I'm going to do it anyway. All right, talk to you soon. Don't hate me because I'll be beautiful. Welcome back. It's Chris Cass, Chris Abraham, uh, season two, episode 18. Uh, Aktsen. Hey, Google, what is the number 18 in German? Sure. Here's some helpful information I found on the web. Aktsen. I'm right. Uh, D, uh, uh, is it D's wheat? D's wheat? Hey, Google, what's uh, 18 in French? Hey, Google, what is 18 in French? In French, you would say 18. D's wheat, I was right. Let's see if I can remember it in... Uh, um, uh... Let me think. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... Is it dieciocho? Dieciocho? Hey Google, how do you say eighteen in Spanish? In Spanish, that's dieciocho. <laughs> Anything else you want me to translate? No, thank you. Hey Google, what is the translation of eighteen in Hawaiian? No gracias. Hola Google, ¿cuál es la traducción de dieciocho en hawaiano? <laughs> Hey Google, what is the word num what is the word for 18 in Hawaiian? Hola, Google, ¿qué es la palabra? ¿Cuál es la palabra 18 en hawaiano? <laughs> hey Google, stop. Got it. I'll stop translating. Hey Google, what is the word for 18 in Hawaiian? I found a table on the website AIRnet that probably has your answer. Umi kumavalu. Umi kumavalu. Umi kumavalu. Very interesting. Hey Google, what is the word for 18 in Chinese? In Chinese, that's shiba. What else should I translate? Shiba. Nothing. Got it. I'll stop translating. Hey Google, what is the word for 18 in Japanese? In Japanese, that's Juhachi. What else should I translate? Nothing. Okay, I'll stop translating. Hey Google, what's the word for 18 in Portuguese? In Portuguese, that's Juzoito. What else should I translate? Nothing. All right, I'll stop translating. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come back in a second to return to... Uh, what the topic is, which is how I'm going to lose weight uh, when I have uh, a food addiction and uh, a portion control problem. Wish me luck. Talk to you soon. Welcome back. This is apparently uh, the 18th episode of season two of Chris Cast. I'm your friendly neighborhood stuffy-nosed Chris Abraham. 
this episode, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to lose 150 pounds. Uh, because while exercise and movement is key, it is really only 20% of the equation. The other 80% is made, as they say, in the kitchen. So uh, portion is my problem. As I said in the previous episode, uh, a skinny person eats half a sandwich at lunch and splits it with someone else. A regular person eats one sandwich, and by one sandwich I mean two pieces of sliced bread, one layer of, uh, let's say, tuna sandwich, tuna salad, or uh, egg salad, let's say, or maybe uh, five or six slices of, of, of deli meat or whatever. Even, even just one or two slices of something like bologna, bologna, don't eat that. Um, or, uh, you know, a schmear of, uh, peanut butter and jelly, or, you know, like a couple pieces of, uh, of sliced, uh, turkey and a lettuce and tomato and onions and mayonnaise and that kind of deal, right? That's a sandwich. I'm not talking about an Italian sandwich. I'm not talking about a sub, I'm not talking about a panini, I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about a sandwich that fits in a sandwich. I'm talking about a sandwich that fits in that fricking skimpy ass tiny ass little thing that they sell at giant or at the grocery store called a sandwich bag right nothing bigger than that so a skinny person eats half gives the other half to their friend on a bench as a trope in a tv show uh the second one is a normal person they open up their brown paper bag and in there there's an apple there's an orange maybe there's a mini bag of chips uh, and then there's that little awful little squeamy little bag called the sandwich bag. And in there, there is a uh, tuna fish on rye uh, with lettuce and tomato, uh, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of butter. And that's what you eat for lunch. That gets rid of lunch hunger. For me, the other day I went to uh, Giant and uh, went in. Saw that they had, they didn't have what I wanted, which was, uh, um, uh, what is it? Thai, uh, uh, Thai roll, a Thai roll. Um, you know, the kind that's in the cellophane wrap, not, not cellophane, but the, but the rice, uh, wrap where you can see the innards and it's filled with shrimp and, uh, carrots and, and, and that kind of stuff shrimp roll is it a shrimp roll is it a is it a garden roll anyway uh i was going to go in for two packets of that which is four rolls right but instead they weren't there weren't any there so i got not a half a sandwich not one uh sandwich but two egg salad sandwiches on wheat to go Went down to Penrose Park, found a uh, a, a two top uh, cafe table, you know, with the powder coated green that you see in uh, in uh, the park in in, uh, in uh, Parisian parks and so forth. And down those two mothers, gladly, happily, right? That's portion issues. So from now on, I am quitting Hungry Harvest, which gives me a big box of delicious vegetables that I can overeat and uh, aside from morning eggs maybe some morning bacon uh, from now on I am going to destroy the planet by eating these little half moon these little bowls not the big bowls these little bowls uh, between 200 and 270 calories per bowl of uh, prepared salad. It's in a, a clear plastic bowl with a, uh, a plastic uh, little shelf on top with separated. It's, a, it's basically a bowl full of pretty much iceberg lettuce. And then there's a little tray that has like a little bit of egg, depending on what it is. It could be chef salad, could be Caesar, could be Cobb. A little bit of bacon, a little bit of chopped ham or chopped uh, chicken or chopped turkey, etc. And then 
Oh, oh, or or uh, or you know, um, uh, shredded. Uh, in the case of chef salad, shredded um, uh, parmesan. And then in the middle, there's a another plastic little thing of uh, of Caesar dressing or Cobb dressing or or chef's dressing. And then uh, that's it. That's my portion. Not two of them. Not four of them. One of them. And then one and done. And 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 I, you know, they're three dollars twenty eight cents each. Uh, basically, uh, if I have three or four of them a day, it's still under ten dollars. Uh, well, <laughs> it's actually under twenty dollars. You know, uh, let's just call them four, four, eight, twelve. Even so, like going through an entire day for twelve dollars is pretty good. And that, aside from the fact that I'm going to be desecrating landfills with my uh, first-use plastic uh, throwaways, um, I'm going to need to do that. I mean, uh, any prepared food has that kind of waste. Any prepared food does. And I need to limit my... I need to make everything easy enough, quick enough, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera so that I'm not wooed away from it. And, you know, honestly, no matter how bad that salad is, um, it is not chips. It is not uh, Vienna sausage. It's not Virginia red skin peanuts. It's not uh, any of those things. It's not SpaghettiOs. It is a salad. And even if it's, even if it has dressing and even if it's prepared, uh, and even if it has, you know, um, salty uh, deli type style meats in there instead of fresh meats, uh, that'll be my daily bread. Maybe on the weekend I will make a an eggplant parmesan or a vodka uh, pasta or or something like. And you know, and if I if I'm motivated, if my day's going well, I'll pick up uh, chicken breast, brown rice broccoli or asparagus or cauliflower and make myself a nice prepared dinner but as a go-to for my overeating if i'm in a snack if i'm if it's three o'clock and i'm hungry instead of going down to the to the uh convenience store stuffy nose chris you can just go to the fridge and pick out one of these open it up sit down watch a couple youtube videos or a couple episodes of whatever uh, put your fork into it, eat it down, and it'll only be 270 calories most, and it'll mostly be uh, roughage, and a little bit of salt, a little bit of of uh, of meat, a little bit of protein, pretty low carbs, and then you're done. Uh, if I overeat these, I'm not dropping a thousand calories. By mistake, by, you know, finishing off a bag, that should be, you know, three portions. It'll really moderate my intake without having to think too much about it. Um, they don't go bad very quickly. Like, I can stuff a few in my day bag. And since they come with a really flimsy little fork, uh, they're self-contained. So I can throw a couple of these in my day bag. And if I'm at a park... Or whatever, I can just open one up and I have lunch right there for me. Anyway, uh, that is my plan. Uh, I'm going to cancel or I'm going to push off uh, Hungry Harvest for a while. Uh, I just can't be... Uh, there's a lot of spoilers. There's a lot of wastage. And, and when I make something up, I eat too much of it. I don't use... My, I, don't, I, I don't use the bowl that I specifically bought for portion control so obviously until I get my ball rolling and I can rely on myself more completely for self-discipline and self-management and portion control I am going to have to limit my intake by virtue of these uh, kill the planet prepackaged little salads wish me luck and I'll talk to you soon
Hey there, this is Chris Abraham. Happy Friday. This is Chris Cast, season two, episode uh 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 so uh these 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 oxen oxen anyway uh and this is how you can reach me i'm chris at garriscorp.com i'm at chris abraham on twitter and facebook and google and uh linkedin and instagram uh, I'm Christopher Abraham at TikTok, even though I don't participate. I'm at Chris Abraham on YouTube, although I don't participate very much. I consume, but don't create. Um, I'm at Abraham.su. Uh, I'm at GerrisCorp.com, G-E-R-R dot I-S. Uh, you can reach me at Chris at Abraham.su. Uh, you can call me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. Uh, if you call me without making a Calendly date at Calendly.com slash Chris Abraham slash 1530 or 60, you know, Chris Abraham slash 30, Chris Abraham slash 15 or Chris Abraham slash 60. And if uh, I'm not already madly in love with you, if we don't have a, uh, a relationship already, I probably won't pick up. Uh, so leave me a message and I will organize something afterwards based on the transcribed call that goes to my inbox. Thank you, Google Voice. Um, if you want to use plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one to connect to me on Telegram, on Signal, on WhatsApp, you can. Uh, uh, both Chris at GarrisCorp.com and C. Abraham at gmail.com are two of my go-to gmail accounts and what else i'm at chris at uh, no agenda social that's a mastodon instance and sorry about that i just touched the microphone probably made a noise and uh is that it I live in sexy South Arlington, a place called Arlington Heights. I'm on the eighth floor overlooking uh, the Ar uh, the Army Navy uh, Country Club. So I have a beautiful view. My view actually goes across the Potomac and all the way to Gaylord World. I think it's called Washington Harbor or Washington Back Door. Or, and, and, and during the winter or at night, I can see the giant Ferris wheel that's illuminated there. Um, you're no Paris, you're no London uh, do not gamble, gambling's bad oh, oh I forgot to mention I also track uh, all of my intake I, I used to use um, MyFitnessPal but since I use fitness, I mean Fitbit I just thought I would just use Fitbit to uh, track those things, alright for example, yeah. Talk to you soon. Season 2, episode 18. Um, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Hasta la próxima, baby. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Tschüssi. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you.